Now, bee populations across the world are in trouble, and here in the UK, numbers have crashed. One reason might be disease, and for the first time, scientists at the University of Warwick have built a computer model of an outbreak of one very nasty bee disease called American Fowl Brood. It could be vital in helping ensuring our bees have a brighter future. Our science correspondent, David Gregory Kumar, is here. David, it does sound very nasty. What is Fowl Brood? Well, Mary, it comes in two different varieties, American, as you said, and also European fowl brood, and it causes very nasty problems for the larvae, the young bees, killing off entire colonies. Now, this is an infected hive, and inside these cells, the bee larvae is dead, but there are millions of fowl brood spores ready to spread the disease further. Stopping these spores spreading means burning the entire infected hive. So what the researchers have set out to do is model how the disease behaves and spreads. We're trying to use the, the data we have showing when and where the disease was spotted to try and effectively work out how the disease is spreading, how it's getting from place to place, and once we have a good understanding of uh, what the methods of transmission are, we've got a better idea on what kind of control strategy is going to be effective and, you know, um, spend less money but have a really good effect on diminishing the size of the epidemic. Now, it may look basic, but this is the actual computer model working. It's based on an actual outbreak on the island of Jersey, but this is a simulation. These dots are the hives, and those lines, well, they're the beekeepers moving between the hives themselves. And this shows the two most important factors in the spread of the disease, how close the hives are and the beekeepers, because they can spread the disease as they move around the island. The model also lets the scientists research ways to stop an outbreak. And it turns out that what the government and the beekeepers actually did in the real world was the best thing to do. But the researchers say confirming what we already know is a useful result. It's always nice if you can sort of, you know, have something that says, oh, we should have done this and we could have done much better. But actually, from a practical point of view, it's very reassuring to know that what was done was the correct thing. And it, it leads sort of more confidence in this sort of the industry and the ability of, of Ferret to sort of control infections. Well, this is 20 years of data on outbreaks of fowl brood here on the mainland. And now the team at Warwick have the mass to understand what happened on Jersey, where well, they can use the same tools to get to grips with what's happening here, and also look at other bee diseases, all of which is good news for bees, farmers, and those of us who like honey. <laughs> Indeed it is. David, thanks very much. Interesting stuff.